Hello, YouTubers. Hello, my gal pals and all you gents. Palm Springs Cindy here for another I Hate Cooking show. So I'm going to start with my iced coffee that I enjoy every, well, just about every morning. Well, only in the summer, only when it's so darn hot outside do I enjoy my iced coffee. Once again, I it's early in the morning. I am not fluffed up. I put I did put this little shift on. I did stick my hair in a, a clippy. I did f fall asleep with all my jewelry on because I fell asleep on the couch and I just turn off the TV and roll myself into bed. I make my coffee extra strong. You see, I have a Mr. Coffee. I, I'm not into those little pods. I just can't, <laughs> can't figure it out. I don't like them. I don't want it. So, voila. Now, I do have, I, I recently purchased this Natural Bliss. It's okay. I, I don't know what I was thinking. I just saw the almond and I thought, oh, vanilla almond flavor. Well, forget it. It's, um, an, oh, <laughs> it's an all natural oat and almond creamer that is basically protein and MCT oil. I don't even know what that is. And it says, it says with five milligrams of protein. Okay. But all I know is, yes, did I shake it? And I pour it in and it, do, it does act like a, and taste like, I just, I'm just squeezing it in. And, you know, like a regular creamer. I've got, I always use my straw, kind of go by color. Mm, perfect. Not too sweet, still the coffee flavor. I did not pay $5 for this at Starbucks. You saw what I did? It's refreshing. It's a little bit sweet because of the creamer, but it's still a lot of that coffee flavor. Love. <laughs> Today, we are going to cook on the I Hate Cooking cooking show. We, I am going to cook these chicken tenders. I'm going to steam some broccoli, and I'm a bit fascinated with this by and I'm going to share it with you. So this is a recipe that uh, I've never I've never done before, but it sounds good to me. Just the chicken and the broccoli alone sound good to me. But look what I bought at the grocery store. Um, okay, it says 90 second. I'm all about the 90 second. It says 90 seconds, brown rice and quinoa, garlic flavored. It's simple truth, organic. Now, the keyword, you had me at 90 seconds. So we are going to cook this together right now. And let me get my glasses, because do you think I can read that? Kevin Snow. All right, um, let's see here. Um, microwave method. Yes, we will, we will microwave. That looks like the only thing that's available. Tear pouch open approximately one inch and place standing up in microwave. Heat on high, 90 seconds. Remove from microwave and tear open completely. Fluff with fork and serve. Okay, I can do that, but before I do this, since it's only 90 seconds, I'm going to cook my chicken and then I, and I'm going to steam my broccoli. Then I will come back to you when I'm about ready to steam this and then we'll put it all together and see what it tastes like. I'm excited, 90 seconds, yeah baby. I bought these little fry pans at Home Goods. I loved them because they had that wood handle, but they fell, I mean, they're just so grungy. I'm going to cut these little, look how tiny these are. I'm gonna cut them. I'm gonna cut them up, up because they will cook faster. And for the purpose of, of the cook, of the 
I hate cooking, cooking show. I'm only going to do a couple so that we can get it, get them cooked kind of fast. So, I hate those little gristle parts. I'm not using those. I'll throw them in my plastic baggie. And um, so yesterday I went to Home Goods. I went to Home Goods with a, I met a friend who is doing some remodeling, redecorating their house. So they wanted to, they just wanted to shop with someone to find out, you know, like they wanted some wall decor and uh, they wanted to maybe, maybe look at, you know, pictures and stuff like that. So we went to two different home goods. One was on Washington and one was on uh, over by the Palm Desert Mall where Macy's is. It's right next to the Whole Foods. And I, I got there a little bit early. And so I had a little bit of time to kill. So I went to uh, Nordstrom Rack, which is next door to Whole Foods in between, you know, home goods. And um, I was looking at sunglasses. And all of a sudden I hear some, I hear someone say, hi, Cindy. And I was like, and then again, hi, Cindy. And I turned around and anyway, this darling gal was uh, saying hello to me. And, and as soon as I, you know, like we, our eyes met, she said, I'm a subscriber. And I was like, oh my gosh. So I walked over closer to her. And anyway, she was uh, adorable. She was complimentary. And do you know how much it means to me to meet a subscriber face to face? It's like the best. I love it. I should probably turn this pan on. All right, well, also I have to confess, you guys, the best thing in the world. Who knew paleo food was so good? While I was at Whole Foods, I went into Whole Foods to have a cold drink and I actually had a little snack. And the little snack was a little tiny plastic box and it just said paleo on it. But it looked so good to me because it was, it had tabbouleh, it had greens, pumpkin seeds, and uh, uh, yam. Yam cut up into little tiny squares. And then there was a little thing of what I thought was a dressing. So I bought it to have with my cold drink and uh, the dressing turned out to be hummus. So there was no dressing, but I took the hummus, there was like, maybe a tablespoon and a half of hummus. And I mixed it up with the, with the greens and the pumpkin seeds and the tabbouleh. Really, it needed lemon juice, but I didn't have it, so, because I was at Whole Foods. And so I, um, anyway, I ate, it was so good. So that might be one of my next recipes. I, I'm gonna turn into a paleontologist. <laughs> It was, it was just so good. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna buy a bag of green. It was all, the, the greens were raw. The tabbouleh, of course, was cooked. And I love tabbouleh, but it's quite rich on my, in my system. So, but I had no ill effects from eating that raw. So I'm gonna make that. In fact, I have two salads that we're gonna make together that will suffice as a meal. Alrighty, it does say on here for the 90 seconds, to really, to squeeze this and kind of like, kind of like squeeze it and loosen it up. So let's do that. And I'll be right back. I just noticed my broccoli. This is why I hate cooking. I've got this going and I should have had that on, but I'm too busy talking. Plus, I'm ready for another glass of iced coffee. So let me do that and I'll be right back. Hang in there. I microwaved my uh, brown rice for, actually I didn't have the increment of 90, so I put it on 100 seconds. So I don't think the rice people will arrest me for that. I just put water in the same bowl, same pan that I cooked my chicken in so that the, the broccoli would have the chicken flavor in it. 
and I have to cover that because it's starting to it's starting to boil. And then I'm going to take this out. It's going to be so interesting if this is good. Oh, it looks pretty flaky. That's a good sign. Okay, this has to be covered. I don't have a correct cover for it. I'm using a cookie sheet. Okay, I've got to try this. Um, just gonna take a little taste. Son of a biscuit. That is totally good. Oh, okay, this is a win-win. It does cook in 90 seconds. I am cracking myself up about this cooking. The cooking video from yesterday was a huge success. So I'm like so thrilled. Who knew? And you know, I'm sort of the joke of the family because I'm the only one that doesn't cook, but I'm also the only one with their very own cooking show. So there you go. Oh, and by the way, this video is dedicated to my sister-in-law, really my sister, Mary, who was the person who suggested that I do this type of a segment. So thank you, Mary, who knew? And she was the one that when I said, well, Mary, don't forget, I don't cook, I hate cooking. And she said, all the better. That's why you need to do a cooking show. Do a I hate cooking cooking show. <laughs> here, you, here we are. So, okay, the, the um, broccoli is boiling and um, I'm gonna put it all together, so hang in there. Right now, this uh, looks way too dry. That's why I hate to cook. I went to all this trouble. <laughs> I went to 90 seconds to cook the rice. I cut up my chicken and stovetop fried that. Okay, I'm draining my broccoli. I, I switched to this little bowl because there wasn't that much that I, wasn't that large of an amount. Okay, I'm gonna put some broccoli in here. And then I'm going to show you what I decided to do. Here we go. This is what it looks like. I'm going to stir it up and then show you. The broccoli is quite large, which is fine with me. Now, because, actually it's not fine with me. I'm going to cut the broccoli up a little bit. Because it's a bit dry, I'm going to put some lemon juice in it. And I don't have a fresh lemon. Obviously, I would choose a fresh lemon, but let's see what this tastes like. <laughs> well, how bad can it be? Come on. Okay. more lemon juice actually a lot more now really if I had a can of cream of celery soup or cream of anything I would add it to this or actually I could put some cherry tomatoes on this which I have If I had it, if I had my act together, I could go zippity doo dah, and I could have finished. I could have done this quickly. But since I hate to cook, this is not something that I've prepared before, first time. So anyway, back by popular demand is my cooking show. Who knew I could make such a delicious, healthy, appetizing meal? So thank you for tuning in to the I Hate Cooking cooking show and I look forward to seeing you next time.